you wrote a book a few years ago, The Illusion of Money. And, you know, the subtitle, Why Chasing Money is Stopping You from Receiving It. And I know this is such a prevalent issue. It's been such a dance in my own life. And, you know, um, and I know a lot of the listeners this. So I'm curious, you know, what, you know, obviously get the book if you really want to dive deep into this. But, you know, what, what, what do you have to share about the illusion of money? Yeah. Well, and you could, by the way, use the illusion of for many things, codependency, relationships, attachment, right? Like it's there. But like, I would say that we really were taught, especially with money, that it is this this thing that there's an egoic linear you that's that. And what I mean by linear is it's like there's an ego that says, how do I get money? Right. Already that how is in the way of the flow of the essence of what you are then money becomes more your God than God, right? Because it's like, how do I get money? Now, I'm not saying we don't ha- need money to pay bills. People often don't understand this thing I'm saying. I'm yeah. saying that the infinite flow of what's trying to happen through you is so much bigger, right? <laughs> than, than, and so much more abundant and would bring in more money than your egoic chasing of it. And the example that I use in the first chapter is imagine if Michael Jordan, at the height of his career, got amnesia and didn't know he was a famous basketball player Hmm. and then learned from society that he needs to get a job to make ends meet and starts (laughs) working like an Applebee's, right? And he's, he's got to work at Applebee's because he's going to get like a promotion and he'll, he'll be able to he can reach care. the top shelf for the ingredients right. in the kitchen, you know? Right, exactly. <laughs> and then imagine that people that do know who he is come in and they're like, dude, why aren't you playing basketball? And he's like, he's like, well, because I'd love to follow your magical dream thing, but I need to make money. And you're sitting there like, you'll make money doing what the thing is that you're good at. Like, follow that. And he's like, that's great. I hear all your weird airy fairy talk, but I will be promoted to assistant manager at Applebee's here. And that's going to be paying like 16 an hour. And I need to be doing that. And you're like, dude, let go of it. And he's like, listen, I'm realistic. I got to pay the bills. And you're sitting there going, you're Michael Jordan eventually. (laughs) Right. And. I believe that we have this higher self that's going, if you would undo your egoic need for money and your fear-based protection-based, yeah, but I got to pay a bill for money, you would discover that the now would create much more magical things through you that are more abundant and you'd be able to receive the abundance of what you are and as a byproduct, make so much more money than your small egoic you that's really working based on patterns of your childhood of parents saying money doesn't grow on trees or it's the root of all evil or you're nothing if you don't make money. And you, yep. you creating your five-year-old is trying to make money in most cases. Your, right. your five-year-old that wants to impress dad or not get hurt by mom is the one that's trying to create abundance. And so you're doing it all out of fear and protection. And there's this old paradigm that money is this thing that you achieve and you chase and you make and you sacrifice your soul for. Most people's jobs are sacrificing their soul for money. And that's just what you did in like the 30s or 40s, right? It's just, just get a job, work at the factory, don't even question it. But our consciousness is too high for that type of thinking now. So when people now are doing it, The light's too bright that they're ignoring what they truly are. So now everyone's got to be on pills or, you know, all these different egoic addictive things because they're they're ignoring their soul in order to do what they think they have to do in order to survive. Yet I would say let go of the surviving in most cases, some cases you don't have a choice, but let go of the need to survive and move into the infinite thriving of what you are. And and so many abundant ways of money will just show up and bizarrely because you're in your soul, you will lose your need for addictive things that are very expensive, by the way. Like you're, you know, you won't spend the money as much on alcohol because you're not fulfilled. You won't spend it on different therapies maybe because you're not, you will, you will be in the true essence of what you are. People that are feeling unfulfilled, they need a more expensive car in order to impress someone, or they need 
you know, a bigger house or these different things, you will find that the more you move into your soul, the less expensive life gets. You want mm -hmm. less things, you want a smaller house, you want less addictions. So bizarrely, you're set up to your true connection to yourself is the highest thing. Mm -hmm. That bizarrely is worth more money and mm -hmm. you lose your addictive need to be seen externally because you see yourself, you lose your addictive patterns, you lose everything. And you find that you just sitting on a mountain is more fulfilling and that's free or meditating or whatever else. And so you lose a lot of expenses, you lose bad food, you lose the hidden costs of more hospital bills because of the bad food and the addictive things. Life starts to get much cheaper and you become more abundant if you stop chasing money and sacrificing your soul in order to do that. Mm. I love that. And it's, it's such a dance. Like I said, I, I, I don't know anyone who hasn't had to confront this. I mean, I'm sure there's some people that hasn't been a big life theme for them, but almost everyone <laughs> in my world has, has had to really work on this one because it's, yeah, we get this idea of, well, no, I've got to survive. And it's like, and if we can move past that survival mentality into trusting that we are upheld by the abundance that created you know everything that we see you you are it like you're so abundant you you know i always say you built this place <laughs> like right. you may have amnesia to the fact that you built this place but you are it's literally all an extension of self like right. and you're you know you're you're, you're sitting on the back of a whale fishing for a minnow and right. um yeah it's it's such a it's such a dance to, to be in so empowering to just say, you know what, I trust the mystery. I don't necessarily know. I, I'm just going to follow my inner guidance and intuition and, and come from this feeling of, you know, and, and even understanding like whatever got you to here now, somehow every time you ever stressed what was to come next or how you would pay for this or that, yet here you are hearing these words and you survived and, and you made it through. And the next moment you'll have made it through and the next moment you'll have made it through and just relax into that. I'm going to make it through whatever, however it presents itself. And by bringing that easy energy and that trusting energy, you're inviting so much more in.